Hello, my name is Paul and welcome to another one of my productivity training videos. In this video, I'm talking about how I store all my photos and how I keep everything uh, organized using Apple Photos on my iPhone, which I'm recording on now, and on my Mac. And so as the name suggests from this video, the, uh, my photo management system is very reliant on being in the Apple ecosystem on the iPhone, on Apple Photos. Obviously, there are many ways that you can store your photos, but uh, yeah, if you're not an iPhone user, this video is probably not going to be very useful for you. And so first things first, what camera do I use? Well, my iPhone is my main camera. I don't have a DSLR or any kind of, I don't have any handheld camera for taking photos. Uh, the best camera is the one you have with you. I have my iPhone everywhere I go and I do have the iPhone 12 Pro. One of the reasons I'm happy to pay a little bit extra to get the Pro is so that I have a great camera wherever I am and I don't have to lug around like an extra camera, which is actually probably more expensive anyway. Uh, I'm not a photographer, so I don't care too much about playing with different settings. I just want to have some nice photos of my family and friends. And so the iPhone uh, I find is perfect for what I need. The other great benefit of that is I can be taking photos and then when I get back home, they all sync to my um, iCloud photos library. And so when I open up my iPad or I look at my Mac, all of my photos are there. Again, I don't have to worry about plugging in a camera and syncing photos from a camera to my library. Now, after I've been out for the day at a trip, on a trip or an event, uh, and I have a bunch of photos, one of the first things I do is I will delete any photos that I don't want to keep. If I have photos, like a, a bunch of photos that are similar, um, I'll just remove the ones that I don't need. I really like having a pretty clean library. So if there's anything that's really similar, I'll just delete, I'll, I'll find the best one and, and delete the rest. In terms of storage, because I have iCloud Photos enabled, all of my photos are syncing to the cloud, which is great because that's basically how I have all my photos backed up. They don't actually live on my phone or even on my Mac. They're all in the cloud, which is how I get to access them anywhere. Uh, but obviously this does require more iCloud storage. By default, I think Apple gives you about five gigabytes for free, which for most people is not enough. Um, so currently I'm on an Apple One subscription. Uh, we're on the family plan for my wife and I, which means we get 200 gigabytes here in New Zealand. Uh, that's still not enough for us because I use iCloud Drive for storing photos and things as well. So I've had to pay for an additional 200 gigs on top of our family subscription. So we have 400 in total total, which is enough for our current usage and all the photos that we have. I do keep a time machine backup of my computer as well, so I've got my library backed up, but uh, I, I love having my photos in the cloud because it means everything's safe and online, and when you get a new device, like we, you know, you purchase a new iPad, or recently I got my new phone, you just sign in to your iCloud account, and all of your photos are there ready to go. It's a really seamless experience, which is, uh, which is fantastic. And once I've taken all my photos, um, overnight, when you plug in your iPhone and your phone is connected to Wi-Fi, uh, Apple, I believe, analyzes some of the photos in the background. And one of the things it does is it picks out people's faces. And so usually after a couple of days, again, if I've been out um, at some event or on some day trip, a few days later, I'll go back and I will look at those photos and I will look at the faces of the people in the photos. And I will then go through a kind of tagging process and I'll say, yep, that was me, that was my wife, that was our little boy Jay. And I tag the photos to the people profiles that I have set up in my photos account. And so it's really nice because it means I can go into my albums, I can click on people and I can say, show me all the photos of my wife or my son or my friends. And so really that's the only the only real management I do of my photos. I don't really do much else in terms of organizing my photos, but that, that's the one thing I'm quite, um, quite routine with is checking how my photos are tagged in terms of the people that are in them, which is great if I want to go back and search for specific photos of specific people later on. The other thing I will do with my photos is if there are a couple that I really like that are just absolutely beautiful photos, I will favorite them. So you can click that little heart icon and it will put the photo into your favorites. But I use that pretty sparingly. I don't, I try not to favor it too much. Obviously, if you favor it lots of stuff, then really it, it's, it's not even worth doing. So I try to only favor it the really good photos. I use a couple of albums as well. So I have one album called Working, which is uh, pretty boring, really. It's just photos of me working like at my desk or on a laptop. Really, I just use these for stock photos, for blog posts and on my website if I want to 
just use some stock image there some various photos of me working or on, on my laptop the other album that I have is I have a CrossFit album so photos of me doing CrossFit or particularly Olympic lifting movements where you are snatching the bar above your head they all go into my CrossFit album um, it's quite useful to be able to go back and watch those videos to analyze your technique and I just like having all of those CrossFit and lifting photos in one place Within my extended family as well, we do have a shared family album. That's one of the great features of the Apple Photos is you can have, uh, yeah, these, these shared albums. And so I've got all my extended family in this one album. We can all contribute to it. And I actually really like this because it's kind of like having your own personal social network just with your really close family. So I can share like baby photos or photos of us on a trip that I wouldn't normally put online, but I'm happy for my, my family to see those. And um, so I can put them in there. We can even comment and like, like them as well. And uh, it's a really nice way to just share those, um, you know, really special photos with, with friends and family. A couple of other useful features of Apple Photos that I really like are the smart albums. So if you go into your albums, you can see there will be albums saying, here are all your panoramic photos, your live photos, here's all the videos you've done, selfies, and Apple just automatically sorts them for you. And so it's quite useful if you're looking for a particular photo to just kind of dig through those albums to find the ones you're looking for. It's also just a nice way to explore and go back and look at any photos uh, from the past. And on that note, that's another one of my favorite features of Apple Photos is the memories feature. I think Apple does a great job of helping to highlight photos that you took, you know, months or even years in the past that you've probably forgotten about and actually it collects them into a memory for you. And it might say, here are your highlights from 2020 or here are, here's your boy Jay over the last year. And it creates this almost like little, um, home video with photos and videos all stitched together with some music and uh, I really enjoy when Apple says here here's a new memory I really enjoy looking through those if there's one that I really like I will actually edit the uh, maybe the audio the music maybe swap out some of the photos and videos and I will save that to my favorite memories as well. And so that is how I use uh, Apple Photos to organize my photos. As you can see, I don't really do much uh, apart from, you know, keeping everything clean and tidy, not syncing too much. I favorite my fa the photos that I really, really like. I use a couple of albums, uh, but other than that, I kind of let Apple do their thing in terms of creating new memories for me and tagging people so I can go back and find those later. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.